I want to shoot a quick video here. I'm just chilling out in the fish room and I got to uh, notice these rainbows since I put it back in this 55, well into this 55 rather. They're trying to figure out who's the most dominant. This one generally is. I think he's still trying to hold his spot. This guy's not having it. He's a little scrapped up already. Definitely feeling this fight. I'd like it if this camera would focus. That would be extra nice. These two are scrappy for sure. See his lip is busted up. They've just been going and going and going. This is not the most aggressive. I mean, I've seen rainbows. I've seen a rainbow scrap, like really scrap, just spinning around so fast they can't even, you can't even believe it kind. But, so these guys are just sort of tapping at each other. I got everybody in here and they're taking well to the change, I think for the most part. They're classic. Just went and uh, picked up a little ball of moss here. So funny. My tank used to be full of this shit. And then I gave it all away. And then I go and buy some more. Because that's the kind of idiot I am. So then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and woo, I'll get this guy ready here. It's gonna go ahead and I'm gonna breed them in there. Let them end up back in here. Scrap it up. I used to have them separated, the females and the males separated to keep their aggression a little bit at bay, but you know what? I just don't, it's not gonna do a deal with that anymore. I'm not gonna let the rainbows take up that much space. They can all just scrap it out and live and love in here, and I'll take some eggs, get some fry going, because it was a long time. It was a really long time for these things to come. I had been asking for these things forever. Well, so long that I even gone on to other fish. And then one day, lo and behold, the pet shop calls and says, we have emerald rainbow fish available. I said, great, I'll take this many and this many. And then they ordered twice as many as I asked for, along with some Millenniums. The Millenniums were all a sick shit batch. Lost a bunch of these, as a matter of fact. And these are the remaining. And so, yeah, I definitely want to get another yield, another, uh, get a spawn out of these and see if I can, uh, you know, eke them out and get a good, nice... Nice healthy school of really good ones. So we'll let that go. This one, I don't know. I question if this one's actually some sort of mutt. If anyone's have kept emeralds out there who sees this, if you've seen one this red, cool, let me know. Seems to me that's a more natural emerald. Yeah. Used to say. Rainbow fish, they're such sluts, you know. But, um, I say that lovingly, obviously. Um, so that's what's going on. 55, I don't know, if you want to call it planted, you cool. There's plants in it. I, I guess that qualifies it. Uh, this thing, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just not a plant guy. I knew it the week I bought it and then let it go. But anyway, it's still, I haven't killed it, holding on really well. Along with these others, I managed to pull out from the 37 gallon. I'm 
then this beauty should be dead. It should be dead. I don't understand why it's not dead. But it's trying to come back, and that's that's all right with me. Beautiful plant. And then I just picked up this fern, which I'm going to go ahead and stick up on top of there on the wood that I'm going to have jutting out of there and do sort of a sort of a display where where the wood and the uh, plants, a lot of them are outside. Sorry about that, Claire. I gotta work on that. I don't know if I'm gonna mix this into the fish room put together video or do this before. It'd be sort of stupid if I put this out before I gave you the put together video. But maybe maybe that's all right. I'm not gonna sweat it. You're not gonna sweat it. You don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Yeah. So that's what's going on with this herd of idiots. Emeralds and of course this Makaloki snuck in. Poor thing. I don't have a female for it or nothing. Just gonna just it's just gonna deal. Maybe it'll do like an emerald spawn, do like some random shit, that'd be pretty cool. But I could never give it to anyone. I'd have to eat them. And then what? Should we jump up here and do some purple time? Yeah, purple. What's up, buddy? It's my guy right here. Huh, perps. Purple's good. Sold to me as a red chili flower horn. I have no fucking idea. I don't know. It's cool. You say red chili, I'll, I, I agree with that. Anybody has something better? By all means, educate me. I'm not here to be cocky. There's more than enough of that going around. Um, but I feed them. I feed them well. Um, NLS is a staple. I do mix in a little bit of uh, spirulina. Um, I got some sinking pellets. Bloodworms occasionally. Uh, not much more. I like to keep it nice and clean. I don't throw any weird shit in the tank, new bugs or anything. Um, just because I dig this fish. I dig this fish more than a person probably should dig a fish. Like it's it's a good fish, which is a weird thing to say. See, look at that shit. These backflips. Good <laughs> please. I really dig that gold on him. That gold used to come out a lot during his mirror time. Now it doesn't seem to go away, which is which is kind of nice. Mustard gold, whatever you want to call it. But purple's sick. He's so crazy. I mean, he's just so he's so good colored that even this piece of shit. Look what I'm using this thing. This is like st little stand-in, like what is this Aquion piece of little thing? And he still looks good. So if I ever get a good light on here, hint, hint, Jay Wilson. Um, yeah, he's going to pop for sure. Pop for sure. And I don't know, man. We'll see. I mean, I know that uh, Trimac is a pretty standard uh, bloodline to put into a flower horn. But this one seems to me like, I don't know, man. When I watch you guys' videos of your Trimax, looks like he's just got a bunch, bunch, a bunch in him. Look at that. Look at that. Right? So hopefully, if that's the case, hopefully the size will match. I guess is the point I'm trying to get at. My hope is that, that you grow into a, be a very big fish, Mr. Purple. You know what I'm saying? Alright, a close-up. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. Yes, you are, you big savage. <laughs> What's up? Alright, we'll back it up there. Sorry, sometimes they get a little dramatic. Don't sweat it. Hey. Just one of the many voices inside my head. Hey, laddie. Alright. No problem. Just, <laughs> just money, right? 
I got plenty. Growing on trees. It's purple. We should have just done a purple video, huh? Purple. He's like, yeah. I will eat those other sons of bitches. Yes, you will. Purple will. He will eat everything in this room. He's a killer, this son of a gun. But you know, oddly enough, you know who stands up to purple and won't back down? I mean, he gets his ass whipped, but he doesn't back down is the electric blue Akara. He was a tiny ass little fish. I mean, he's not even, maybe he's just a little longer than his tail. You know, the Akara's like, you know, <laughs> that big. And he just goes sideways on him. He's like, wah, wah, I don't care if you're huge. All right, this is getting long and weird. Yeah, so we're going to probably edit a lot of this out just to save you time. Save me the shame. Purple, you know, and all this without any kind of special color up foods, man. Well, maybe a little color flake here and there, but really, really, really rare. Just whatever, chrysanthemum or whatever it's called. Crustacean redness they put in the NLS. Zycothantin, dan tansethol, whatever. Come on, y'all. You know. I may never not be able to pronounce it, but I know how to keep them healthy filter this shit out of the water and feed them expensive food. Yes. I'm going to start making my own gel food for this guy too. I think. Because he's such a pig. You know, he really is a pig. But I want to make sure he gets his nutrients and stuff in there. So I'd like to be able to do it all in one crack. Because he really, he'll eat anything. You know what I mean? He'll eat anything. He's like a pig. <laughs> Fucking swine. You know, so I do, I want to make him uh, some gel food where I can pack it all in there, you know, maybe a little color, uh, color flake, a um, little bit of spirulina, a little bit of spirulina, some blood worms, definitely you know, different proteins, perhaps some different vegetable proteins just to help push it, I mean, vegetable roughage rather to push it all through, you know, mash up some peas or something, raw peas, some raw vegetable matter, something good, experiment with it, but... Dude, you're going to go full upside down, big dog. Don't get too nutty. You know what I mean? You don't have anything. It's all good, baby. It's all good. I was letting him bite me the other day. He was into it. He's what, he wants it again. He's like, give me that shit. Like, you're not getting it, dude. I'm not giving it to you. You're not getting it. You going to chill your little, chill your little uh, horses? What do you chill? Jets? Cool jets? In horses? I don't know. You ride them until they, then you turn them to glue? What happens? Put them in the pasture? Shoot them? Sandwich meat? I don't I don't know what you do with a horse. Do not know what you do with a horse, and I don't know how to deal with glare. But I got rhythm. Yeah.